What did y'all put in this chicken? Oh my god! This is such a stressful day. These are the fits. He's actually broke. <laughs> It is Wednesday, May 3rd. I cannot believe it's May. Like, I'm still confused, I'm still shocked. I literally came back from the gym maybe an hour ago, took a shower, and now I'm ready to go to Starbucks. Starbucks has been my new bestie. The Starbucks that I was going to a while ago was a really, really mega Starbucks. And I liked it in the beginning, because I was like, oh my God, like there's so many new faces, all of that, but like, <sighs> I can't go there again. I don't have the focus to not look at everybody that walks into the Starbucks. Like I've been going to a really small Starbucks and I absolutely love it. I feel like I just stay so much more focused there and I'm happy. And I also did a side part today. It's crazy because I used to be like heavy on the side parts, but like I've been doing middle parts a lot recently and I was like, let me try a side part. And I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. I'm gonna go and get some food and then we're gonna go to Starbucks. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Muy delicioso. I got the light balsamic vinegar and I also got avocado lime ranch depending on what I'm feeling because last time I tried it I used both of the sauces and they were both good so it don't really matter. How's y'all's day going? As for me today has been a very good day and it's really weird because I feel like old people in my life are like coming back. Mm. Now that's some lettuce. Old people have been coming back into my life. And you know, I'm welcoming everything and everyone, but I don't really have enemies. So it's not like enemies that are coming back. It's like people that I used to hang out with when I was living in Houston before I left. Mm. Oh my God. What did y'all put in this chicken? They said Courtney is coming. So we have to make it bomb diggity. Mm. Finished it. It was mid, right? It wasn't even that good. <laughs> Let's go to Starbucks. And get a lot of work done. I tried my best, <laughs> but I didn't succeed. I'm glad that I'm getting more comfortable vlogging in public. If you want to look at me, look, but don't forget to take a picture. What's good, boys and girls? It is Wednesday. It is Thursday. Jesus. Time is moving fast. It is Thursday, May 4th. Yet yeah, last night after Starbucks, I just went to a friend's house and that was cool. We were just chilling for a little bit. And then I came home and went straight to bed. Today, I woke up and I did a little bit of cleaning. You know, I'm still in the bonnet and the robe. <laughs> I tried to eat breakfast today, but I'm just so out of everything. I made oatmeal and right when I was about to devour it, I realized I don't have milk. I was eating oatmeal with just water and it, it wasn't good. But today my plan is literally just to completely finish my video. I'm basically done with it. I just have to do like the intro bit. Like in my YouTube videos, I don't know if y'all ever noticed, like the beginning is like, what? Like it's super dramatic. I have feelings for my grandma. That's all I have to do. The video's done basically. And then I'm gonna make the thumbnail for that, a thumbnail for my vlog that's going up next week. And then a thumbnail for another video that I plan on uploading next week. You know, we working. I changed my upload dates for these vlogs to be every Saturday because I realized y'all be watching on the weekend. So Saturdays is gonna be my vlog days. And I'm aiming to have Sundays be my main channel video days, but I'm taking it one day at a time. If I can be consistent with the vlogs, oh, that's just a stepping stone to being consistent on the main. And I got my Starbies. You know, she's never too far away. You know, this is getting a little dangerous. I've been drinking Starbucks every day for the last like two weeks now. <sighs> There's just something about the Starbies. I don't know, regular coffee just doesn't affect me the way Starbucks does. Maybe it's because I am getting a grande black coffee and this is enough coffee to keep someone up for three days. Oh, also, my dining table, in three hours someone's coming to fix it. Also, my dining chairs will also be fixed too. And I also am thinking of replacing my couch. I don't want this couch. So if somebody in Houston wants this couch, come and take it. It's not cute though. A very productive day. Let me show y'all what I did. We got two thumbnails done. We edited a video. We uploaded two videos and it's going live on Saturday and Sunday. Vlog channel, main channel, you know the vibes. I haven't uploaded my main channel in three weeks. That's not gonna happen again. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> I hope it's not gonna happen again. I'm trying to get consistent with the work. What else? The dining table. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is coming together. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, what? Uh-uh. I have a dining table now, y'all. Like this feels real good. And then let me add the base on top of the table so you can get, you can get the vibe. This base is not gonna stay here though, so. I also got a new cookware set because 
My pots and pans are so horrible. Look at this. Why I got one handle? I was boiling eggs this morning and I smelled like something was on fire. Nothing was on fire, this thing was just burning. <laughs> I got the tea fowl set they're non-stick but i don't know why my mom really scared me about using non-stick pans because what are they putting on the surface to make it non-stick and when the pan gets old that surface is gonna start flaking off and going into your food she's probably right but i don't know i don't know but i like a non-stick pan so we're gonna continue to use it <laughs> i start my first pilates class tomorrow that's gonna be fun today yeah i look bummy but tomorrow and then saturday <laughs> You don't know where I'll be. And then hopefully tomorrow, I'm gonna be meal prepping for next week. I feel really productive. I just warmed up these noodles. I actually got them from Target. This is gonna be my dinner. I have salmon in the air fryer, so we are gonna be eating salmon on the side. We're trying to get hella protein. This is the box, if y'all wanted to know. P.F. Chang's Dan Dan noodles, they good, okay? And usually what I do is, I like to add in a lot of red hot chili flakes. I like my stuff spicy. Ooh, and we are gonna sit at the new dining table. <laughs> I am so full. Like, I, I did not expect to be this full. I, I still got some left. We got Pilates first thing in the morning, it's lit. I cannot wait to experience that. I need to get socks. There's an option to do it barefoot, and I was a little confused by that because what if someone had a fungal infection? See you tomorrow morning. It's Pilates day! I saw this girl on TikTok. She took pre workout before Pilates. I don't know if it's that serious. So glad that I'm on time because I'm usually not on time. I need to go to Target and see if I can get some grippy socks. Last night when I said, oh, I need some socks, Doris was on the phone and she was like, you don't have socks at your home at all? <laughs> I said, girl! For Pilates, you need this thing called grip socks or grippy socks, I don't really know. So I'm gonna see if I can get some from Target because I really don't want to do the workout barefoot. Let's go. Can I call you? I'm like, yeah, I think it's on minutes to spare so I'm probably gonna go in cuz I'm a newbie oh my God. Yo, I feel like I was just beat up <laughs> my legs are still shaking Jesus Christ hi where the AC at Pilates is no joke I am sweating my legs are literally shaking my hands are shaking. Oh my God. I still am like not understanding what I just did. I was under the impression Pilates was easy. I was very much humbled. I'm so glad I didn't record the workout because y'all would have actually thought I was a human formed donkey just trying to move and coordinate properly. I'm like at a loss for words. There's a point when I was in the class and I'm like, I'm never coming here again. <laughs> This will be the last time. But eventually towards the end, I was like, wait, this is actually not that bad. The burn that I was feeling while I was working out kind of reminded me of lifting weights. And so I didn't hate it. I was like, okay, I'm liking the burn. It's just like, because Pilates requires a lot of balance, I feel like I was super unbalanced, but I would definitely be using the rest of my three passes. I also think what made it even harder is because I had a really, really heavy leg day on Tuesday and like, I'm still sore from that. And so one of the first workouts we were doing was like hitting the hamstrings and the glutes like oh two seconds into the workout and i'm like taking a break pilates is no joke these women that be going to their pilates classes they know what they're doing you think that they're just dainty and cute with their little water bottle no these women are pushing iron and i really really liked my instructor her name was sky she was amazing i love her she made me feel so comfortable and not feel like i'm the worst in the class even though i definitely was the worst in the class what should we do next we get a star piece. I was planning on going home at first just because Doris is coming over later, but like, I need to get my nail done. This nail, this broke in the middle of class. So embarrassing. But it broke like literally in half. And I had to hide the, the other piece into my sock because I was like, I'm not just going to have my little nail sitting on the floor here. This is just unclassy. I was trying to think of something to get for breakfast but it's so hard trying to get something that's like dairy free. I'm um, lactose intolerant. So I'll be trying to live an easier life, but sometimes I get tempted by dairy. I do, and it is too early in the day to be ruining my day with some dairies. I got egg bites. 
I've never had egg bites in general. And then I also got like the protein box and it has cheese in it, but I'm just gonna like not eat the cheese. I know you ain't ready. Wow, I feel so energized. Yeah, we're doing Pilates every week. I like this feeling. Thank you. Oh, she was so sweet. I'm just eating in the parking lot. I'm going to the nail shop and it's so, where are my egg bites? They didn't give me my egg bites. Ah! Now I have to go in. The egg bites was secured, honey. I hope this doesn't have milk though for real because that's gonna be really disappointing. I just wish I had hot sauce So update I'm not getting my nails done. They're gonna actually just remove this then I'm gonna come back around one o'clock and my favorite girl's gonna do my nails I'm ready to take these claws off Just got the nails removed it is kind of crazy. I'm just like there but it's only gonna be for like an hour or so. Honestly, I think this might be my last time going to this nail shop just because I just feel like they're making up prices. Like, oh, I just hate when people play in my face. Why did I pay $25 for a soak off? Like that's actually not making sense. And then I pull up their book. What is this price? And why are you charging me this price? And then they say, oh, it's cause your nail was long. My nails were medium length, but it doesn't matter. I feel like in my head, it doesn't matter because if someone has long nails and then if someone has short nails, you cut off the extra length and then you soak it and it's just short. Why would I, I don't know. Yeah, they need to stop that. It's time to go home, I need a shower. And we're ready to go. So I'm going back to the nail shop. This is such a stressful day. I'm very weird because I like this type of busyness. Like I like just going from place to place and trying to figure shit out. It's just a very casual look. To go back, they're gonna be like, Wait, is this the same girl that was just here an hour ago? And guess it is. The endorsement is gonna be coming over after the nail shop, so that's gonna be cool. If you're wondering why I even rushed to put on a full piece of makeup, is because me and Doris might be going out tonight because of Cinco de Mayo. Okay, we gotta celebrate. <laughs> the nails are done. This is what they're looking like. I'm on my way home now. You know, all I can say is I'm just glad to have nails on my fingers. That's it. We're not gonna complain. Doris! Come say hi to the camera. Hello? She's sexy. It's time for dinner, and this is my fit. We were genuinely looking for places to go and like celebrate Cinco de Mayo, but it's too much work. These are the fits. It's gonna be a very fun time with Court and Doris. And we were making TikTok, so go and check out our TikTok pages. Go and watch them now. Cause we look good. This instant. I think we're the last people in this restaurant, honestly, because he was supposed to pay the bill and he hid from the server. It's really sad, actually, when you think about it. You know, this is the man. His name is Jay Seger, whatever the, whatever you want to go by. He's actually broke. <laughs> so if you ever plan on going on a date with this man, don't do it. Don't do it because you'll be very disappointed. He might pay for your first or second dinner. That's it. First. <laughs> First. Hey guys, it is Saturday, happy Saturday. Today has been a really, really big cleaning day. Actually, I cleaned up my living room, the dining area, the restroom, basically everywhere that's not my bedroom and my office because my family's coming over today. I don't know, I feel like today I was a lot more active than I expected to or wanted to because, you know, last night I came home really late. I think Doris left my apartment like 6 a.m. And so I went to bed around that time and I woke up around like 10 a.m. from a call from my mom saying, oh, we're coming over today. When? Yeah, they're on their way right now. I have to clean up my entire apartment. I made some stew. And this was a perfect time to do it because I know that if I did not make it today and if my parents and my family wasn't coming over today, I probably wouldn't have made that. So I'm glad that I made that. Um, so now I have food for the week. No more fast food. I had therapy again this morning. Um, you know, actually this session was a lot better than yesterday. I think it's because um, some of the advice that she gave me from last week, I utilized it and you know, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed the conversation that we had today. Maybe therapy is cool or whatever. The family is here. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. 
Is he gonna say? <laughs> Y'all like my dining table? Yes. Yes. You don't like it? Yeah, because it's like, this is a small space. I feel like it fits perfectly. It's good. Ooh, a plate. As expected, they like, uh, 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 What did you say, say it again? You did good with this stew. You know, look, y'all don't understand. When it comes to the stew, oh, I, I, I do it every time. 10 out of 10 for the stew. I don't, she doesn't lie. Any sour, whatever. You look good. As per usual. Hey guys, my name is Chima. Who? Who's hashy is this? No one has been eating it actually. No. Why is it hashy? Because I make s'mores. Are y'all sleeping over? I'm not. You're not leaving? Love. Oh, yes, hold on. Love. I'm hoping you say, because that's a good Yes, so. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. You all need to come test this. For real. I'm so famished. I can't wait for this rice to be done. Uh, uh, uh. So my mom is making spaghetti. You know the vibes. You're gonna finish all my water. Cause I usually drink four to five bottles of water a day. But mommy stopped stop buying water. We bought the wait, wait, she stopped buying water? Yeah, we buy the like the gallons. Oh. Um, Good. It's good. King Charles the Third coronation. I think it's still crazy to know like British people really like they have a, a kingdom like or, or a royal family. It does feel unserious. Like what's going on? No disrespect. I feel like I'm watching a movie. It's getting These kids trying to have s'mores. You gotta put the alcohol. Nothing crazy. Watch and learn. Ooh. I feel like I forgot how to do it. Ooh. Ooh. So you put it in the fire, do you take it out? Like, I don't understand. No, you just put it in the fire and let it burn. I'm scared. Like, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm new to this guy. Girl, put it in the fire. Wait, it's not, is it gonna burn? It's supposed to. Have you never done s'mores? No. no. This tastes like sins or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, we were good. shaking. Yeah. It was awesome. Why isn't it burning like almost? Smoke it because you did put it long. Oh my god. Y'all are the worst people to be around during an emergency. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> you know how like Sims they did? <laughs> I feel like anytime we're in a serious situation, we're just like, even that time, even that time when the alarm went on and the cops came and stuff and we were screaming. <laughs> I still remember looking out the window and the cop was like this and it's guns like this. Because we were screaming. I would have did that too. Like, I feel like we're all naturally scaredy cats. <laughs> like, it's actually so sad. Oh, literally. Twist it out. Ooh, you're a smirk. Like, come on. Y'all are new to this. I'm gonna take a bite. I don't like how you're doing yours. First of all, it's not even. The microwave works better. Hold on. It's good. Yeah. I mean, I swear. <laughs> Tomorrow we're hoping to have like a pool day. Yes. But we'll see if we actually do the pool. Your girl can't even swim. Yeah, we yeah we all can't swim. We are no swimming family except our parents. One time we went in the pool with my mom. <laughs> mom is splashing the water on other people. Big splashes. I was, like, is, I was like, is this what we call swimming? <laughs> this is funny for your life. <laughs> she looks like she's drowning and she's trying to get out of the water. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. We're probably gonna end the vlog for today, but we will see you tomorrow. I love you and peace. You still do you wanna say bye? Peace. Good night. Y'all, it is Sunday. We've literally just been sleeping all day. We didn't do anything. Literally. We're wearing the same thing as yesterday. Please don't judge us. Don't judge us. This is not even sponsored, but Arab sent me a whole bunch of new water bottles and I gave each of my sisters one. I'm just telling them how it works. So I think I've talked about it once in a vlog, but they give you like these scented things and you drink the water, but somehow, since you're smelling it, you taste the, the flavor. I can taste it, but I think it's just because watermelon is not that. Yeah, she has the watermelon flavor, and you have, what is it, strawberry lemonade? You can taste like actual raspberry lemon. lemon. Raspberry lemon. That's you can good. actually taste it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just re-shocked, because that's actually really cool. But yeah, I'm ready for them to leave. 
<laughs> they have been here for a little too long. It's not even that long, like. Y'all like, have been here all day. So I'm trying to get into like knitting or like some type of hobby that's not. YouTube related because like before YouTube used to be my hobby of course but now it's like a job but I want to find something that I can do that's not related to gaming either because I'm usually like I'm a simmer okay I'm a simmer but sometimes that takes me like I get into it and I don't want anything that's gonna be like too time-consuming you know so I've been thinking about knitting and I got a beginner knitting kit I literally ordered it this morning and it got here Amazon's kind of scary knitting era Hello. I just wanted to say goodbye to the vlog because this has been a very long vlog, I feel. I hope you guys all enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing my sisters again. Bye, y'all. And I will see you guys all in my next Lizzie vlog. I love Woo! you. Is it last day of the vlog? Mm -hmm. I love you and peace. peace.